One of the reasons I, I liked engineering is it's solving problems. And I always felt I was that was something I loved to do. I love to solve problems. She's able to take this engineering speak and put it into English for us. And so for those of us that are not engineers. So she takes complex situations, but doesn't try to power you with her knowledge. I think that she's very intelligent, uh, high integrity, very driven courageous, but at the same time genuinely cares about people. I have some wonderful mentors that I've had in my career, starting with Dean Howitt when I was at USC, and then Bill Wood, uh, who was an amazing mentor to me as I was coming up uh, at the gas company. I began hearing her name early on. She was probably 26 or 27 when I first met her, and I was surprised at how young she was because it's a big bureaucratic organization and for a young person's name to get up as quickly as hers did was a clear indication that she was a person with a lot of talent. I was often the very first in my career. I was the first female officer of the company. I'm clearly the first CEO of our company. And so being the first, you want to be a really good role model. Deborah is a pioneer in terms of uh, what she has accomplished. Semper is an international company. So to say that she has broken gender barriers is really important for all women entering the engineering field today. She really believes in empowering her team. She believes that by empowering people, it doesn't diminish her own power, but it really multiplies it. She doesn't say, I'm different because, and, uh, and that's really special in a leader. Making people want to succeed, seeing that it's possible to succeed, that's one of the things that I enjoy most about my job, that they may not believe that it's possible, but once they accomplish it, they're never gonna go back. You don't see one Debbie at work and one Debbie uh, away from work. She is who she is, genuine, whether she's here or at home. You're not your job, you're who you are as a person. And so I think it's really important to have that kind of rounded life. She's extremely driven, there's no doubt that she's driven, but as a leader, she leads with both her brain and her heart.